So I came and I bought a sleeping mat. <laughs> um, for those of you who know me, which probably most of you on YouTube don't, you know that I am so, so, so stubborn and I tent camp without any sleeping mat. I don't have an air mattress. I don't sleep on blankets. I sleep in my sleeping bag with my pillow and that's it. And I've done that for years. Well, I turned 23 and it seems like a lot of the stuff that never hurt my back before certainly does now. And I'm not even that old, but um, basically I caved. I was having trouble sleeping in my tent without a sleeping pad. Um, but I didn't want to commit to a bunch of money because I love to pack light and I always knew I could suffer through not having a pad if I needed to. So I bought the cheapest sleeping mat on Amazon that you can possibly get. Um, and it is by this company called um, Zuby Lives. Zuby Lives, this is it fully aired up. I'm on a camping trip right now and I just aired it up. And it is uh, one of my last camping trips of the season. So it has come with me for an entire summer to all of my camping trips. And it is this blue mat and I will leave the dimensions in the description below. And um, I bought it on Amazon. Uh, because it's cheap it was like 27 bucks and which is by far the cheapest one you can get on amazon or anywhere as a matter of fact and um i really liked it i was actually thoroughly impressed originally now let me continue this review because some of my thoughts changed as the season went on um i was really happy to see that it had this self-inflating situation where if you step on it with your foot it blows itself up so that way it stays completely it gets complete like a lot of air in it I didn't fully air it up today um, and then it actually has a double valve so let me unscrew this it has this cap along with a plug in the actual air um, valve so I that was pretty promising and then um, in the back where the air goes out, it's also sort of a double valve. Um, so I thought that was pretty promising. I'll put that back on later. Um, on the back side, it has two valves. This is the first one. And then it has this black one, which is supposed to be more sealing um, for the second one, which I just let a lot of the air out, which is fine. Um, and so I thought that was pretty promising. And it basically worked for the first three camping trips I had no problems I would air it up once I would sleep in it it would be perfect three camping trips it made it um after the three camping trips it seemed like every single night after about two hours of falling asleep I would wake up to go pee or you know whatever and I would be laying on the ground like it, it genuinely deflated completely and I've never found like an air leak in it. I really think it has to be coming from either this back valve slowly or the front valve, obviously. Um, probably more like the back valve, which I don't know. I don't know where it's coming from, but all I'm telling you is maybe purchase this for a short trip if you are in a, mid a pinch and you can't bring an air mattress. You could get this for a quick trip. Um, it's affordable, blah, blah, blah. But if you're thinking of doing long-term camping on one of these, it's not going to last. It's not going to last you. Um, I don't think, I think the fabric is tough enough. I don't think it's ever been uh, punctured. Um, however, I do think that the valves and everything are just not top quality. And that's just that. Um, the nice thing is it does fit in this small bag. Um, it does, and the reason I um, unaired it is to show you how it kind of folds up, which I love how it folds up. Um, I think it's very handy. I wish all of them did this. Um, you fold it in half, all the way down, so it goes in half, and then it actually snaps together all the way down. You snap it all together, and then you just roll it. Um, so it is very compact. So again, I think if you're on a budget, and if you have a quick trip, like let's just say you're not an avid camper and your friend says, hey, let's go on a camping trip, but you know you're not gonna be able to bring an air mattress and you know you can't sleep in the ground, highly recommend. It's only 27 bucks or whatever I paid for it. I'll like, I, I think the price has changed since the beginning of the summer. So I'll leave the link to purchase it on Amazon in the description. Um, but I know I only paid like $27 for it. So needless to say, uh, my first year trying out a sleeping pad was kind of iffy. Of course, I went the cheap route and cheaped out. I think I am ready to invest in a nice, 
sleeping mat. So if you guys have recommendations, please post them below. Um, oh, also to mention, I am 5'10", so it's plenty long for me. Um, I think anyone up to like six foot would be fine on this as far as length goes. Um, however, I am 200 and some pounds. And I do think if I purchase another sleeping mat, I will be buying the extra wide. Um, so you need to take in your body count, size, original, you know, because when I sleep on my side, my ass kind of hangs out a little bit. Um, so if I purchase another, I will be purchasing an extra wide. Um, so if you are a bigger person, uh, I would also say that this is going to be a little bit of a tight squeeze. I certainly had no problems falling asleep on it, but if you're out for like maximum comfort and you are over six foot and you are a little bit wider of a person, that is something to consider. Um, but yeah, overall I didn't hate this. Um, this is one of my very last camping trips of the year. I used it again last night. I air it up right before I go to bed and if I wake up on the ground in the morning, it's not a big deal. It's better that I tried than to just force my back to sleep on the hard ground. So anyways, that's my review. I think, again, it's not a terrible sleeping mat, but if you're a long-term camper, this is not some holy grail for you. You'll need to invest in a nicer one. So again, if you have recommendations, put them below. Um, thanks for watching.